This is just a little teeny piece of Los Angeles. And uh, our speaker this evening is responsible for planning for you send a message to City Hall <laughs> and uh, to the planning department that the people in Sherman Oaks are concerned about planning. Uh, our speakers here have spent 20 years uh, in San Diego in the planning department and as the director of planning for San Diego, a city known as being a livable community, uh, an area that people want to live in because of the community uh, nature of the various neighborhoods. And with that, I'd like to introduce our speaker, the Director of Planning for Los Angeles, Gail Goldberg. Thank you all very, very much for inviting me. I, I am thrilled that I got here early enough to have a lovely dinner and socialize with everybody, but I have to admit, that the committee report scared the heck out of me. Okay. Um, let me tell you, I've, I've now been in Los Angeles for uh, more than a year, and um, I left San Diego, um, surprisingly to me, I never expected to leave San Diego. I had lived there for 35 years, and I was with the planning department for 20 years, and as you can see, um, I don't have a lot of planning years left, and so I sort of assumed I would finish it there. So it was a surprise to me uh, to hear from Los Angeles and to actually spend more than a year talking to them. They actively pursued uh, planning directors who had not applied for the job uh, but planning directors that they believed were doing a good job somewhere else and might be enticed to come here. And I will share with you that um, you have a very persuasive mayor uh, who talked to me at great length about his vision for the city and talked a lot about the power of, of one and the ability to make a real difference in this city by introducing um, real planning into this city. Uh, he challenged me when I came here to do a couple of things. He told me that um, I would have to generate public discussion about planning, that while there was much discussion in this city around projects, there was little discussion in this city around planning, and he wanted me to make sure that we had a real public dialogue about planning and the power of planning. He also told me that uh, I would have a lot of work to do in the planning department in order to create a department that could uh, serve the people of this city and produce the kind of plans that could really express the vision of the people who live here and give us some assurance when we live in a neighborhood of what is going to happen to our neighborhood. So those were the two challenges that, that he gave me. I, I found many more, and I will try not to go into all of them. But um, I think that one of the things that I noted when I came here was that there was not a lot of long-range planning going on. We were working on one community plan, and as all of you know, there are, this city is divided into 35 community planning areas, each with a community plan to guide development. The plans that have been adopted in this city, I have looked at all of them, are simply inadequate to guide development if you are a developer and they certainly could not provide any assurance to communities of what was expected to happen in their community. Um, many communities had specific plans, as, as you do, and I believe that this was a response to what was a very broad and vague community plans and a desire by communities to have more specific rules 
more design guidelines so that people would have a better understanding of what was supposed to happen. Um, in my world, I can tell you that my idea of a community plan gets closer to the level of detail that one would find in a specific plan. None of the community plans that we have here in this city really address what I believe should be an essential part of every community plan, and it's not just the land uses, but it's a discussion of the transportation systems and what needs to occur in order to support the plan. It must include a discussion of public facilities and amenities. It has to talk about what is already in the community and what is needed to support the new community plan. I think that every community plan has to have an urban design section that talks about the areas of a community that have a specific character or a specific scale that is unique and that contributes to the identity of a community so that we can implement design guidelines and overlays that will assure that our communities keep their distinct and interesting diversity that I think make this city uh, a really exciting city to work in. In the, um, I think it's now 16 months since I have been here, we are now, we have added a lot of community plans. As I said, we started with one when I arrived. We were on, I think, our third year of the Hollywood community plan. And we have now added over this period of time, um, I'm going to see if I can remember them all, Silmar, Granada Hills, uh, Sunland Tahunga, uh, Hollywood is still going, West LA, West Lake, uh, South LA, Southeast LA, West Adams, um, Boyle Heights, Central City, and San Pedro. So we are now currently working on 12 of the 35 community plans. So we are actively working on replanning one third of this city. And it is my intention, and it is the intention of the planning department to create the kind of plans that not only implement our strategy for growth, which is a smart growth strategy, that also protects single family neighborhoods and our rural areas, but plans that will give communities, that will express the vision of the communities and the people who live there, I come from a city that has a strong history of community participation in planning. It is, frankly, the only way I know how to do plans. And so it is also my intention and the intention of the planners who are working on these plans to have full buy-in from the community so that the plan that gets adopted is not just the city's plan, but it is the neighborhood's plan, and we can all work every day to implement and make sure that our plans uh, get implemented and created. But creating the plans is only really the first part. We have to have, and I, I have heard not just from your community, but from other communities that there is a lot of discomfort about how even the plans that you have, how they are implemented, how they are reviewed, how it is that people look at projects and review them consistent with the plans. And I want to tell you that I believe that part of the problem in doing that is a structural problem that exists in the planning department that I expect to correct in the not too distant future. The planning department has been organized in functional units. So people who are working on citywide issues sit in one section doing that. People who do the policy and the community plan sit in one area. People who do subdivisions are in a separate area. Zoning people are in a different area. Environmental people are over here. And not always is the communication between those people very good. So one of the things